I hate it when you go online and you see people doing unboxing videos and they spent like five minutes out of a 10 minute video cutting open the box with a fancy knife and like, I, I have a kitchen knife. This is what I'm gonna use. Oh, this is the pack. Nobody cares, right? People are here for the product. Hey, today we will be upgrading our Brompton bicycle into an electric bike. There are a couple of companies that sell conversion kits. I decided to buy a kit called the Nano. Unlike the Brompton Electric, which is what Brompton makes in-house, the Nano is this kind of mixed bag of, of different parts that you're piecing together. They provide you with all the materials that you need, but ultimately it's created from sourced parts but from the reviews i've seen it's really designed with a lot of care there are people with thousands of miles on a nano brompton with no issues and one of my favorite things about it is because you buy the battery separately from a third party you can buy as big a battery as you want so whereas the brompton electric only offer up to six amp hours of battery my nano kit will have a battery that is 20 amp hours. And so this thing will keep on going for 80 plus miles. Right off the bat, the motor, when Nano first came out, we didn't have motors that are this size. Brompton being a folding bike is small. So the front forks are very tight. And a lot of the other conversion kits require you to bend the forks in order to fit the motor in. Now, Nano, it's one of the few companies where you don't have to bend and widen your front forks on the Brompton to put this into the bike. This is number two. This particular thing is the bag conversion kit. With the switch and the Brompton electric, one of the problems is that they both use the front hanger where you put the backpack as the contact point for the battery. But what that means is now you don't have the carrying capacity that you used to have. Now, one of the great things about Nano, you punch a small hole into your existing Brompton bag and you connect this to the battery and the battery will go inside your bag. So it'll just be like another item that you carry rather than taking up the entire rack. So I can still use my bag that I purchased with the bike. So next we have the Nano controller, very nicely package in this little pouch that you attach to your bike. You have this computer that controls your speed. Also, of course, you have this cog, which goes around the crank of your pedal. So as the pedal arm swings around this fixed position, it measures how fast you're going, and that tells the computer how much kick it's going to give to the motors. Next, we got the bag called the fitting kit. You get a bunch of zip ties, so just a bunch of stuff that you can use in order to fit the kit uh, to the bike itself. Headlights. One of the things that I advocated for is the headlight that I can attach now to the front of the Brompton. Uh, they also have a tail light as well. And so both of these will be hooked up to the battery. When you start pedaling, they light up. This is that battery adapter for the bigger battery. 2021 fitting instructions you get this full booklet of what to do with what piece. There's something so charming about having a booklet. Now, the last piece here is the battery itself. Oh, wow, okay. That right there is the Hylone battery. Uh, this is the same battery that you see being used on basically every delivery e-bike. I mean, there's so many out there that I think the quality will be pretty good. So the first thing we're going to do here is actually uh, take off the front tire. On your Brompton, there should be these little caps that cover the nuts. So I'm just removing both sides here. Let the air out of the tire. Remove the axle nut and set it aside. I recommend getting a little bowl, put your parts in it so you don't lose it. Unhook the wire form from the axle. So this, I think, is the wire form that holds the fender to the wheel and now I should come off remove the wheel with the little elbow grease here so here we have the motor of the nano Brompton the motor wire has to be on the left side of the bike now hopefully I don't have to widen the forks ho oh, ho yes yo that is a perfect fit like a fucking glove check that the brake blocks are not proud of the wheel 
You see that pad has to be flush with the edge of the rim. Um, if anything, maybe I need to lower them just slightly. Now you can see that it is flush against the rim. Fit new rim tape to nanomotor wheel rim. So this is the rim tape, smooth side up. Come on, buddy. Whew. So refit the old tube. Now, I definitely want to reuse this because apparently it's very puncture resistant. So I want this on the new bike. Once you get two of them in and you have a little slot on the other side of the tire lever, you have this hook. Hook it in to the tire and then just, just pull it along. It gets your tire out. The way I do it is I put the nozzle in first. So I just go along the rim here. All right, so now see one side of it is seated. The other side is still not. What I like to do is just use my fingers and go along the sides here. And just like that, pops in. So now we're gonna put everything back. Come on, come on. Okay, that went in. Uh, we put the wire form. All right, now we tighten everything. All right, so the hub motor is installed and uh, the front tire is on now. The next step here is to install the controller, uh, which we have to mount on the block right here. We need to replace this block that comes with the Brompton here. And that is off of there. This is the new one from Nano. Okay, so now it's going in. It's now on, hook this Velcro strap around the main tube. There it is, that's the nano controller installed. We got the pouch fitted on the other side here and we gotta fit the motor wire now to the controller and it's really just plug and play. Now it's all connected. The next step here is to connect the computer to the handlebars. All right guys, so now the controller has been installed. All right, so really we have three things left at this point. The first, to install the pedal sensor. Now the pedal sensor comes in two components. The first component is the sensor ring, which actually goes on the bottom bracket. The second component is the sensor magnet, and this goes on the crank, which rotates as you're turning the crank. And that allows the computer to determine how much of a push it's gonna give you while you're riding. So we need three specialized tools in order to get this done. The first thing, eight millimeter Allen wrench that allows you to remove the dust cover. The second tool we need is the CCP22 crank puller. And the third is this bottom bracket removal tool. That right there is the dust cap. So next, we take your crank puller, thread this larger, thicker portion into the opening that you just vacated. All right, so now we gotta... Oh, Jesus. Come on. Yes, finally. That was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. You see the teeth? Well, those teeth correspond with the teeth on this bottom bracket removal tool just perfectly. Okay, there we go. Yes, and that right there, my friends, is the labor of the last 45 minutes. Next step here is to install the sensor ring. Bottom bracket back in. So next is the sensor magnet that goes on there. And we just, I guess, push it in until it stops. Now we can put the crank back onto the crank shaft. And there we go. Take the screw right here. All right, now we take our eight millimeter. <laughs> so now we go on to the battery and the bag. Now, obviously before being able to ride the Brompton, I need to install the battery and all the connectors. Now on the bike side, that is done. But since the battery goes in the bag, I have to prepare the bag itself. All of the Brompton bag comes with this little holder. And so first step is to remove this. And now we can take the frame out. I need to drill a pilot hole. We now have two openings that we just drilled. We have to put this copper contact point into the holes that we just drilled. So next we have this cable 
which we need to connect to these copper pieces right here. All right, okay. So we are all tied up now. All right, so I did some of the measurements, marked the inside of the bag here. That dot is where I need to punch a hole through the bag because that's where the wire will end up. Wire is popping out on the inside. So now that the wire is in, all we need to do is just to slide this frame back into place here. Okay, Whew. one of the last steps here was build the plug itself that we're gonna put into the battery. Take the cap, put it over the wire. We take the cable grip over the wire. And lastly, we have to use the screws inside here to hook these wires permanently to the plug head. All right, so that's the plug, the bag complete. All right, folks, now we're gonna conduct our full systems check. But before we do that, we actually have to plug the battery into the bag, then mount the bag onto the bike. I'm gonna take the plug and plug it into. It just clicked into place here. All right, so this is the moment of truth. If everything works, it should spring into life. I just saw it on the camera. Bro, everything is working, everything is on. Jesus Christ, that is awesome. Okay, so the connectors and all of that, everything is good. Whew, dude, let us give it a shot now. <laughs> oh boy.